So the intelligent digital dust stand for uh, ID dust stand for intelligent digital dust. Uh, so this is a system, a revolution system that uh, using a digital fiber optic technology to move the capacity from one location to another one. If we take a zoom on the system elements, we can see in this track the active POI, APOI from uh, Cobham Wireless. Basically, this is an active solution that uh, provides all the leveling for all the bands, all the operators that need to be hooked and connected to the system. Now the RF signal, remember, this is a digital solution, so going into a digitizer, multi-technology digital interface, and the task of this uh, element is basically to convert the RF into digital, into bits. And in addition to that, to make sure that it provides very, very sharp filtering Y, because we are talking about multi-operator, multi-technology, multi-band system, and we want to make sure that not interference at all between any technologies, any operators, that's the last thing that we want to hear. So we provide our patented DSP filtering to make sure that this is uh, done correctly. And after that, basically, everything is tra uh, transferred into digital CIPRI communication. So from the multi-technology digital interface, it will go to our CIPRI router. The task of the CIPRI router, and uh, again, this is again something really unique in this industry, router can do one input to many inputs, unlike switch that can do one-to-one. -one. So we can take the input and route them to which remote unit that we want. And uh, why this is important? Because this can allow us to move capacity whenever it's needed. Let's say that I have an office building and a shopping mall. During a daytime, most of the capacity will be in the office building. But at night, everybody goes to the retail area, to the shopping mall, and uh, what you do with analog dust solution, you put hardwired capacity to each one of the location. No need to do this anymore with ID dust. You can define a profile, and we can see later on within the GUI how to do it, of a, oh, evening time or weekend time, and this can do, just move the capacity Remember, from the filters that we defined before to the designated remote unit. If we take a look on the remote unit, I don't know if you can... So this is the remote unit that connected to the CIPRI router. That's a quad-band IDDAS remote unit that uh, can support uh, up to uh, 30 dBm per band. If we need uh, more power, we have the big brother that can, can support up to 43 dBm per band. So the, again, depend on the application that you have. And of course, you can mix and match as needed. And again, the task of this remote unit is to take the CIPRI input and convert it into RF, because at the end of the day, we need to distribute our RF within the building. That's the task of the IDDAS. Uh, the system, as I mentioned before, uh, has been launched last year. And uh, this system is, uh, has been uh, providing coverage and capacity to one million people during the New Year's Eve in Berlin. In Berlin, they have the area, uh, it's near Brandenburg Gate, which is called the Fan Mile. This is a huge park. And uh, during these big events like, you know, the New Year's Eve, spring festivals, summer festivals, you know, rock, big rock, when Germany wins the World Cup, up to one million people will gather around. So guess what? They need coverage and capacity. So this system provided an excellent solution to this customer. And they, within the, the requirement, one of the requirements of the customers, which were uh, Vodafone and Telefonica, was to make sure that all the capacity, because you need, for one million people, you need a lot of capacity. So they've done all the design, calculated, need 160 sectors, 4G, MIMO, 3G, where you are going to put all the base station, to put everything in central Berlin, that will be a big challenge. So they've asked us, our app, okay, Let's put it away, 25 kilometers apart. So we've used basically utilize the C-Run, centralized run or cloud run architecture, where all the base station hotel is located 25 kilometers from the area. And we are two fiber optic cables, only two, getting all the way towards the fan mile, then distributed to the remote unit and providing outdoor coverage in the fan mile. This project has been a huge success. Eventually, very interesting to see that uh, even uh, during the day of uh, before it was operational, the, the evening of uh, the New Year's Eve, Vodafone released a PR in uh, 
two magazines, two German magazines, telling everybody about this system from Cobham Wireless, IDDAS, and how it's provided coverage before it was implemented. It was tested, of course, very, very thoroughly to make sure that it's operational before it uh, was deployed. Concerns about SIPRI is it uh, seems to be fiber intensive. So how does your system only use two strands of fiber? Okay, excellent question. So when you move to the digital technologies, you can utilize, no need to reinvent the wheel. Why reinventing the wheel? You can use a, a standard digital a, a fiber reduction technologies or digital, I've, I've seen they develop a fiber a aggregation technologies. So things like DWDM, you can get 40 fiber optic cables into two. That's basically what we've used in the FanMile project. And again, there are different technologies. Things like that cannot be done with analog fiber optic techniques. So unfortunately, when, when you have this, this kind of C-run applications, probably the only valid solution will be digital system like the IDDAS uh, solution.